Hey friends, welcome back to the house this week for another drink. It's been a minute since we did a spirit review. Maybe even two minutes. Five? Quite a bit more. Five minutes. Yeah. It seems like just when I think we're going to get back into the groove with both the wrenching videos and our spirit review videos, other plans just really come in and consume time and we just can't make it work. So we kind of choose, all right, which one do we have to absolutely spend the time on? And that's on the car projects because those have to get done at mm -hmm. some point. So this week we are actually going to review Jefferson's Wood Experiment Collection. Now, this is not something that's new. It's been around for a little while. This was a wedding gift from my brother in arms and our good friend Mason. So thank you very much, Mason, for gifting us this really cool set. Mm -hmm. uh, although it's been out for a while, I've never seen it. I've never had it before. And maybe because I just was looking for individual bottles and not something in a smaller collection like this. So if you are familiar with Jefferson's, Jefferson's has been around for a while. It's probably less known for this and more known for <laughs> this, which is Jefferson's Ocean. We won't go into this one today, but sealed. it is still sealed, so we'll talk about what is special about this one compared to any of the other whiskeys that we end up trying, because it has got a cool story behind it too. But this one here is quite a bit different, and Jefferson's themselves were founded in 1997 by Trey Zoller and his dad, Chet. Now, Chet Zoller is a famed bourbon historian, and their family goes back quite a bit of time. <laughs> to the point where Trey's eighth generation grandmother was actually involved with spirits. And I had to stop and just die laughing and think about both of my grandmothers and how wild they are, your <laughs> granny, and how we could probably see many of our grandmothers in this same state. But she was actually arrested in 1799 for the production and sales of spiritus liquors. It's just <laughs> My mind starts to run a little bit, trying to envision. I mean, it's not even prohibition. So yeah. how much liquor are you selling illegally, trying to evade taxes to I mean, get arrested in 1799? So Trey himself, he, he has an experimental mindset. And that's what kind of led to this right here. So, you know, they've been doing the straight bourbon for a while, but after spending some time at a wine cooperage, he started really thinking about how can you change the flavors of bourbon with different barrels uh, from other spirits or wine mm -hmm. or just changes in the wood. What all can you do to what will ultimately affect the ending flavor? And we're all seeing now that so many distilleries are changing the barrels, the finishing. Mm -hmm. After they've aged, they're finishing them in all these different types of barrels trying to impact that final flavor and make themselves stand out. And it's really incredible because even just where the oak tree comes from, is it European oak, French oak, American oak, all of that has an impact on the flavor of the spirit because of how dense the wood is or isn't. Yep. And you add in different levels of char, how deep does the char go into the wood? That, once again, all sorts of different flavors. Yeah. So what Jefferson's actually did, what Trey did was he went out and got his experiment on. He started with four-year-old bourbon that uh, obviously had been aged in your virgin white American oak charred barrels. And he finished it in 
13 different environments with different vessels over a period of 32 months. 32 months. So I, I kind of get antsy after like 24 hours. <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying to like <laughs> experiment with the bread recipe. Trey went all out, 32 months and for was, aging this and bourbon. And was picking up <laughs> that data and trying things every single month and tracking it all. So this particular collection includes woods number three, four, six, ten, and twelve. Yes. And we're tasting all of those today? We are tasting them all today because there's no better way to see what the difference in tastes are than back to back. Now, you may, if you're not familiar with this, you may be wondering why three, four, six, ten, and twelve? And there's been a number of folks that have asked them, and, and I guess kind of the, the thing is, is that the other numbers just didn't really stand out the most. It, it happens like that when you're trying new recipes, you're trying a new bread recipe, or anything in the kitchen. Sometimes one recipe is just not as good as the other. Yeah, and I've also heard a story that the other numbers were not sold in the U.S., but sold like in the U.K. or somewhere else internationally. So I'm not sure exactly which one all of the ones here in the U.S. <laughs> are all the 3, 4, 6, 10, and 12. So everybody is getting the same thing. It's just a matter of what your palate tastes differently. I feel a lottery ticket coming on. A lottery ticket. <laughs> because, of the, because of the 3, 4, 6, 10, and 12. <laughs> all right. So let's get into this. So the very first thing they do is they give you a wood experiment tasting mat that really kind of goes into all of their different spirits, which there's quite a bit yeah, there more is. than just the ocean. Yes. So ocean obviously is one of the more prominent ones, but they have a good number of here, plus stories about each of their different spirits and areas for you to write down what you taste for each of these. So that's pretty cool. That's unique. All right. So let's let's set this to the side here. And which one did you grab first? Number three. Number three. It's always best to start at the beginning. Plus, this is kind of an odd one out. <laughs> That is like the corniest dad joke ever. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with number three? So number three, the experiment is a new 60 gallon American oak. Okay. So for those of you following along, a regular barrel is not 60 gallons. No. 60 gallons is quite significant. Um, so it's an American oak barrel with a low, deep impact toast profile. So this would have a char that goes pretty deep into the wood. Correct. So. Yeah. And the difference of char and toast, char is more heavily burnt compared to a toast is just like lightly brown, just like bread that you're toasting. We don't need a whole lot here because we have plenty more to drink. Yes, we do. And these are just standard little, you know, bootlegging flasks. Yep. So a toast. A toast. Cheers. Cheers. A toast to the deep toasted barrel. <laughs> now who's telling bad jokes? Wow, oh, that's strong on the nose. You know, after drinking Irish whiskey for two weeks, this is very bourbon-y, yes. very caramelly. Okay, yeah, I'm picking up on the caramel. It's a hint of vanilla on the back end of that caramel. I think it's because I associate vanilla and caramel smells very closely. It's got a little burn on the nose, so I'm going in. Mm. 
oaky. Once again, could be because I've been drinking Irish whiskey for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I, had to, I had to get back into the bourbon taste. Uh, the finish of it is nice. The uh, initial part of it is a little strong. It, it hits pretty heavy with that wood profile for me. Not, not so, it's not like going out and licking a tree, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it is a bourbon that has a very sweet wood profile to it. It's not it's not a harsh, bitter wood profile. It's, yeah. It's a little bit sweet. Yeah, definitely more on the wood. I'm not tasting any of the spices, you know, fruits that you may normally get from bourbons, but this is... On the is, second sip, a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Some of those... Um, darker fruit spices more like more like raisin or I think like fig newtons yeah maybe i should have saved part of mine <laughs> you just chugged it down <laughs> i just chugged it down you can't do that <laughs> you just tiny sips it was it was not bad uh is it something that stands out that wow i'd, I'd like to drink a lot of this not really pretty solid bourbon yeah, I mean, it's nothing outstanding. What you got there? All right, so this is number four. All right, and number four is new standard barrels with a medium char infused with heavily charred American oak cubes. Oh, no. What? Well, that, that just sounds very woody. It does. Yeah. So... This one could really, really stand out <laughs> in that area of it's it. Just a wee. Just a wee? Wee. Wee! Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Wee. Wee! <laughs> I'm having fun with the wee. Oh, it sounds to me like the bourbon's getting to your head. Not quite yet. Okay. So let's see what number four has. Three, four. A lot softer on the nose. Uh, I just got hit with, with the tree. Four. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing on the, the significant amount. Let me rephrase that how significantly less the burn is on the nose on four than three for me. It's inverse for me. Really? Yeah, it's inverse for me. On the nose of this number four, it smells very woody, very, very, very strong wood bourbon. Okay, I'm not and talking I about get, the wood, I'm talking about like the burn. You, oh yeah, that's like burning up my oh, nose. Oh man. This smells very predominantly wood and uh, I think I get more of the caramel on this one than I do on the other one. I see the other one smelled sweet. This one just smells a bit. Yeah, it does almost, not smell almost a sweet. Bit acrid to me. But <sighs> Her nose is whacked up. I never had whacked. COVID. It's not COVID. Okay, mm. there's the sweetness. Oh. That is nice. <laughs> That's nicer and smoother to me than number three was. Our tastes are very different. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> this, this, this is a pretty solid no for me. So this is almost, almost like butterscotch to me. The spices are there. That's a significant difference. It tastes like sucking on a wood spiral. <laughs> okay. You can just go ahead and pour right on in there. Uh, um, um, I'm tapping out on number four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and once again, it could be it could be because I have been drinking so much Irish whiskey that. Um, 
I, I have fallen out with the American oak. Okay. It'll come back. It'll come back. All right. Number six. All right. Once again, we have a new standard whiskey barrel. Yep. With a light medium char. So we're going a little lighter on the char. Infused with lightly toasted American oak staves. So this right here is going to be for me. Do, do I prefer a darker char mm -hmm. or a lighter toasted? And I know where my preferences lie. Yeah, mm -hmm. clearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This may really do more than I've ever compared side by side. So. Once again, trying to not get us hammered. <laughs> yeah. Get it in the glass. I like it on the glass. <laughs> like it on the glass. Wow. <laughs> All right. Hmm. It's back towards number three, but it is a lot softer note. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Much softer. It's not quite. It's not quite, quite as prominently sweet smelling. I do get that wonderful um, burning sensation on the nose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't sniff still, that a whole still lot. Still pretty, pretty woody. Burns my nose. Still a pretty too woody. Much. But it is softer. Damn that goes back towards number three for sure. It's like in between them though, because for me, this still tastes incredibly woody, not very sweet like number three tasted. Um, it's like a toned down version of number four for me. Okay. And for me, it's like a toned down version of number three. So we'll meet in the middle with number six. <laughs> Your face is like nah. Nah. <laughs> I told you. It's, it's, so I've far, been number four. So much Irish number four is is it for me so far. Mm. Okay. Number. Very woody. It's not as woody as number four for me though. Okay. Number ten. So custom. 60 gallon French and American hybrid oak barrels with a low deep impact toast. <laughs> so we're just like all over the place now on what we're doing. However, the wood is completely different with the hybrid. With the hybrid, plus when you have a 60 gallon barrel 32 months is going to age completely differently than when you have a standard size barrel. Yeah. Did I pour too much? Yes, you did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so used to our normal pours. <laughs> you can't do that when we're tasting five bourbons <laughs> sure in I one can. video. I sure I can. No. There's nothing saying we have to stand up and walk away from the table. <laughs> Somebody's gonna have to stop recording the video here. It ain't gonna be me. Oh, we'll just add it in as cool B roll. <laughs> mm. Significantly more sweeter. Compared to? Compared to all of them. Yep, okay. Uh, a lot less burn on the nose. I get butterscotch. Yep. The butterscotch, the vanilla. Wow. Oh, that's nice. Number 10 has surpassed number three for me. 
Uh, and surpass number four for me. So we'll meet in the middle with number ten. <laughs> no middle. <laughs> so number ten has now been what both of us feel is the best so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Last and not least, because it's the biggest number, is twelve. <laughs> Uh, this is original bourbon barrel with oak inserts that have been toasted over a long period of time to infuse the bourbon. So I'm trying to understand exactly kind of like what, what that means. Uh, that, so the inserts have been toasted over a long period of time. Now, okay, not the barrel. Yeah, in, in the in the little not so fine print. So it says straight bourbon whiskey, barrel finished with toasted oak cubes. Mm. So it sounds like they slow roasted some wood and then shoved it in a barrel with some whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure if it's going to change. Well, I mean, I, I would hope that it changes the flavor or it wouldn't be part of the experiment. I haven't liked the cubes yet, so we'll see. Okay. Let's see if it beats the Frenchie here. That's actually nice. That's nice on the nose. It's not as sweet as tin. Got a little more it's of a... sweet. Uh, well, yeah, I'm still saying it's sweet, but not as sweet. And it's got a little bit of a stronger wood smell to it. It to me, it smells. It smells like pretty solid, straight bourbon. It doesn't smell um, particularly sweet or woody. It just. Hmm. I like the smell of this one. Ah, boy, that's a. That is a awesome. knock down, drag out fight between 10 and 12 right there in my mouth. <laughs> I think that sums it up pretty well though, because it's it's not quite as sweet, but it, it it's much smoother yeah. for me. Um, I still get hit really hard with wood, but um, it's not anywhere as strong as four or six. No. Nope. With the wood profile, um, but it, it's super smooth. It's just not, it doesn't have that, that super sweetness that comes with the 60 gallon infusions. Three is definitely the low one on the totem pole still. I'm gonna go 10, three, 12. Okay. And preference choices. All right. So I uh, let me try. Um, I'm gonna go ten, twelve, four, six, three. Uh, four and six aren't even on my list. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't even know. I'd want an old fashioned fate with those. It's really? Just so woody. Hmm. Okay. Um, so oaky, so woody. Um. Hmm. So if you've had this, let us know what your number was that your favorite. Well, on that note, I think it's time to wrap it up and say thank you for joining us back for yet another many drinks. Spirited <laughs> review. <laughs> Spirits review. Are you spirited now? I am. I'm feeling very loose. Uh-oh. <laughs> so until next week, when we bring another whole different spirit to you, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you then. Thank you. Bye. Bye.